All right, what we did was I upgraded this motor and the ESC, put a new receiver in it. I ended up cutting the foam off the insides on both sides in here. To pull this out, what I did was I took this battery tray out, but I had to cut all this to get it out. And let's see. And then, well, hold on a second. Damn it. You see it now? Better. There it is. Had to cut both the sides out to get the tray out because those wires down there are holding up the battery. So I had to get in there and put them, push them down, tape it a little bit, cut this out. Otherwise, the battery connector goes right in the middle of it. Restricts the battery from going down. So what I did was pull the battery tray out, cut us. Little, took a drill bit and took the exacto knife and shaved it up a little bit so it's nice and smooth and now let's see kind of hard to do this with two hands and hold the phone and do it right all right what we're gonna do is get that in place now well, it's not in place hold on there we go now it's in place see it goes like that I know it's a shitty video, but it is what it is. There you go. See how the battery now goes to the side? Battery will go all the way down. I gotta glue it back in place. Put some of this blue tap team, whatever you call this stuff. Uh, thread lock, blue thread lock on the screws for the motor. I gotta put some washers on it. They don't come with no washers, so. It's better to have washers too. And we'll put this thing all back together. The battery cable will be to the side. The wires will be out of the way. We get the air in the front. So it keeps it cool. And we'll put the cowl back on. And uh, hopefully this week do a, do a maiden flight on this. I took it out today, but I couldn't get the battery in. The wires were in the way. So it only took about a couple hours just to do that the right way, but, all right.